Okay, we're all set. Finally. My name is Stanley Leaf. I'm the creator of this uh, Applejack quiz game. I created all the multimedia content and those quiz button. Sorry, I'm out of here. <laughs> and uh, and I'm Animated James. Yeah. I love you. If you don't know who I am. Just pretend I'm Jack's Blade and everything will work out. <laughs> Welcome everyone to You Don't Know Applejack. All right, this game is inspired by the video game. Uh, also, various forms of the game, both online and on TV. Um, I hope everyone will have a good time. And first and foremost, something's missing. We don't have any contestants, and that's what we need. So who here thinks they know more about MLP than anyone in this room? You with the fedora. Oh wait, that's everyone. Alright, you in the green shirt. I know Brian. Yeah, you, you in the back. I'll do a great start. Alright, one more. Contrast a uh, little girl in the Apple Bloom costume. Yeah. Hey, it's like a game show. Okay, so not only is this game completely ponified, uh, but it will also be made as a tribute to the creative minds and fans of ver in various fields. Uh, that's why you will see their names at the bottom left of the screen and at the end of the credits. Now, for the instructions. Most of the time, you'll see a question appear on the screen. When all of the possible answers are visible, uh, you can press the big red buttons there uh, if you think you're smart enough to answer the question, even though the audience knows you're not. <laughs> Some questions are challenges and don't have multiple choice answers, uh, so, but you will see how to answer them. Uh, you will each only have one try to answer each question or challenge. So, uh, green shirt, uh, what's your name? KT. KT. Yeah! Test, his name doesn't matter. Protest your, protest your uh, red button. Yeah! <laughs> now you're up okay. Alright, you, what's your name? Sharp Shine. Sharp Shine, awesome. Uh, I'll test an R. Hey, Luna. Yeah. Can I test my button? Can I test my button? Can I test my button? <laughs> Did you do your homework? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Fine. Yay! Crash Land. Oh my God, that is such a badass name. <laughs> Where do you go to school? You know what? It doesn't matter. All right, test your button. No, 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 no. No, no. Your, your stuff. But I want Pinkie Pie. She gets the yay. But Applejack is best pony. Yeah! Yeah! I don't care what you all say, Applejack is best pony, and she is not a pop drum pony. Stop that right now! Yeah! Alright, so... Alright, so, contestants. In this game, 
you will have more chances to lose bits than to gain them, especially when you get a wrong answer. So uh, the goal is basically to hang on to as many bits as possible and basically keep, try to try not to lose all the clothes on your backs by the end of the game. We don't we don't normally wear clothes. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> Why aren't you hosting this? I know that's exactly what I've asked myself. <laughs> all right, when you know the answer, uh, you you got to be quick pressing the big red button there. Uh, the one who presses it first is the one that has the spotlight on them. Uh, then they get five sec you each get five seconds each to show your intelligence and answer the question right or wrong, uh, or you will lose the bits for that question. Now, uh, you are in this quiz, but maybe you don't want to answer any questions. Well, you can totally do that. Sort of. And you got three ways to do that. Uh, the first is Trixie's trick, uh, which consists of when a contestant wants to gain some quick bits, which are points, they can choose someone in the audience uh, to answer the question for them. Now, that victim, I mean person, <laughs> must answer the question, uh, give an answer. It's not really to be abused uh, because you can annoy the audience only during questions or challenges where there's only one answer to give. And each contestant can give their impression of Trixie only once. Oh, and don't combine it with Celestia's power, it's too great and powerful already. <laughs> not more than Luna's. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're going to get to like a banish right. the moon. Okay, during a question, you can push the button and ask to send another contestant to the moon. The victim has five seconds to answer the question. Uh, if they guess wrong, uh, they lose a thousand bits, and you have your face printed up there on the moon for the rest of the session, I guess. This is a push. It's the next question. Until ah, the next question. Yeah. Now, the Celestia wannabe also gives an answer. The person that sends the person to the moon also gives an answer, uh, because he should have an answer in the first place. But, you know, watch out, because if the victim got the answer right, then you get sent to the moon. So... To the moon! Oh, you're going up there all right! Yeah. Bam! Bam. Zoom! Straight to the moon! Just so you know, I was not born in that era, I just know that from straight up memes. <laughs> I like apples? Apples! Apples! I also like books. Alright. Books are cool, good stuff. Okay, once again, uh, this, is all, this is only for questions or challenges where there's only one answer to give. So each contestant can send someone to the moon only once. The elements don't have enough batteries to use them twice. We can see who used the Trixie or Celestia power usage by looking next to the names in the scoreboard and I'm reading this way too awkwardly. <laughs> Alright, finally, finally, last uh, way to not answer questions. Uh, The derp answer of the game. Just before the first question, there's a fake sponsor for the game. Uh, during the game itself, if one can manage to buzz in and give the wrong answer in multiple choice questions uh, that matches our sponsor, you get double the bits that, of that question that you normally have. Lucky you. The, con the other contestants still have a chance to give the right answer if they know it. They just don't derp it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There's only one derp answer for the entire game. I'm sorry, but how much you want to see her in season five? I mean, honestly, right? <laughs> Again, you're already a way better host than I am. <laughs> Alright, for everyone in the audience, please don't 
yell out the answer. I mean, you can think it, but, you know, if he can hear the answer from someone, we will ask him or her to leave. You know, fun is, like, serious business, okay? Fun, 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 fun. I don't think you understand. Let's begin. Like clockwork. Standing Week Media presents a game where pop culture and pony culture go on. Hosted by Standing Week and Anna Marie Chilly. And with the help of many fans of the community. Yo! Yo! No! Applejack. <laughs> The Derby Answer of the Game is brought to you by... The Pink Note Headphones by Pony, because silence is boring. <laughs> Typical multiple choice questions with some atypical themes. Uh, you each can get 200 bits for each question. Yes. Yes. I need a psychologist after I watched that video. After the success of his Gangnam Style video on YouTube, sorry, the angle here is just ridiculous. Psy. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> am I not best host? <laughs> you are. I don't think I know he's good. Mm -hmm. All right, you can kiss my plot after the game. All right. I look forward to it. All right. After the success of his Gundam style video on YouTube, Psy decided to cash in on the pony trend. Took the advi took the advice of Discord and decided to use Celestia's castle for his new filming location. What castle feature would Psy use to make it similar to his present Gundam style music video? One, the stained glass windows. Two, the throne. Three, the vault chamber. And four, the library rooms. Number four! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd have to say... Again, please don't yell out answers. Say... The three, 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 number three. I get it. I know what video he's talking about. Just to let you all know, I really had absolutely no idea what, what that video was. I've never even seen that video. I just straight up guessed. I'm just that awesome of a brony. Mm -hmm. He's lying. <laughs> Am I? Yes. <laughs> Just no negatives. All right, Stop please it. stand by. Or sit by. Stand by me, my friend. Stand by me. Come on, man. Let's all stand by. Now then you'll block the projector. <laughs> No, we're not doing that again. Please stop. No, stop. 
It was funny the last 100, 398 thousandths time, but it's run its course, people. It's run its course. Yeah, it's, it's done. What? We have already took the shotgun to its brains and blasted it out. Okay, it's done. Okay, fine. One more time. One more time. Fun. 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 I'm sorry, what? What was that? Fun? Fun? Technical difficulties here. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie, over there. Over there, they're over there. Yeah. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here for shit to get. <laughs> there are children here. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. PG, sorry, sorry, everybody. <laughs> All right, he's done. <laughs> yeah, you don't want your bits. I'm taking it straight to the bank. Right. Standing leap is done loading. Oh yeah, that nice one. Don't feed the parasprites on parasprites on the internet. I don't know. <laughs> In swarm of the century, what disgusting color was the disgusting parasite who distinguishedly who disting disgustingly? I said that word like three times. Why, why did it take me like three times to say that? <laughs> All right. In swarm of the century, what disgusting color was the disgusting parasite who disgustingly ended up on Rarity's eye? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> One, oh, rotten brown. Two, hot blood red. Three, barbecue green. And four, sour tasting yellow. Uh, three? That's wrong. Oh. Oh. Nice seal. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to go with one, Ron Brown. Congratulations. Are you okay? Talk about eye candy. Oh my gosh, the little kid got it. Wow. Jeez. Somebody got it. Alright. Shrek do a barrel troll. Oh no, no. I really don't think Shrek is love and life, but I do know Shrek is a brownie. In, in the movie Shrek the Third, that big green ogre preferred to say he had a pony in mind instead of admitting he was thinking about someone else. Then, who is Shrek's best pony? One, the purple pony. One, two, two the pink pony. Three, the orange pony. And one, the rainbow pony. <laughs> Pinkie Pie. Yes, Pinkie Pie. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the pink pony. Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've lost the battle, but not the war. I'm gonna have to go with the rainbow pony. Yay! Yes. It's always <laughs> rainbow dash. Ah! I know it's got a lot of rainbow dash. Look into the fire of truth and tell me what you see. Trust me. Okay, monster. 
go for it. <sighs> I see a rainbow pony. Excellent work! <laughs> Alright, let's peasant pie, Pinkie Pie. Mmm. I don't know about that. Okay, suppose Pez comes out with a Pinkie Pie dispenser. If your Pinkie Pie Pez is packed completely full of peppermint Pez, just like Pinkie Pie is chock full of sugar, how much Pez could you take from Pinkie Pie's neck? What? what? One, eight permanent Pez for Pinkie Pie Pez. Want to try? Yes, you can. Don't bite off that peppermint Pez by Pinkie Pie Pez. I got your time. 12 peppermint pears by Pinkie Pie Pears. Or 14 peppermint pears by Pinkie Pie Pears. Yeah! Apple Jack? Uh, number 3, 12? Yep. That's yeah. time I got one. More banjo. Because there's no peppermint, uh, no pants with Pinkie Pie, that's what the best I can do. Uh, Needed more cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> when I look at, when I look at the list of ponies, I'm wondering if I'm rather looking at my shopping list. That was a long one. I can't wait to buy some rare. Who's a cement? Alright, this one is a challenge based on clues. So let's see if you know all the ponies by heart by guessing who's going to be described here. So you get five clues to know the pony, and you can shut me up by buzzing at any time for this one. Uh, this is for 300 bits. For me, the best areas are the dangerous ones. I practiced a whole lot while I was on those amusement park rides. When you're the best, you don't care about the rest. Wet. Shy? Okay. Sakura? Sorry? Sakura? What? Nope. Sorry. The ride is thing got me. Alright, last one. When I tried to join a team, I didn't care much for teamwork. I have a lightning bolt and three stars. Yeah! Apple Jack. Jack. Lightning dust. Yep. Right. Yeah! yeah. 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 The evil enchantress, uh, double enchantress, yeah. It's a work in progress. Yes, it is. All right, guess who's back for a multiple choice question? It's Spitty Pie, or at least I'm gonna speak like her. So, you have to listen carefully, but not too close. I might, I might spit all over the place. They're like, I gotta see this. All right, there's 200 cupcakes to gain here. James, do you want me to do it, or I? This, I'm pretty sure everyone wants to see me do this. Yeah. I, I'm gonna talk. Can we no, please no, see you do this? Please. Yeah, yeah, please. sure. Yeah. I mean... Do it! Yeah, let's do All what right. they're saying. Do it. Yeah, do it. All right. Do it. Yes. Do it. Do it. I lift my... Info. 
Mensch. In Form of Festification, what is the, the, the name of the found? Applejack? Philadelphia? Yep. Yeah! <laughs> Man, this whole tongue thing's got me thrown off. I could have got that. I feel that for my dad. Unfortunately, that visit is going to have to wait for another time. I'm afraid an emergency has come up in Philadelphia. Apparently, there's been some sort of infestation. An infestation of bronies. <laughs> when you're a dictionary and a robot, do that makes you a, a computer? Yes, yes it does. All right, all right. It's time to use your brain cells. I'm gonna give a word equation to solve by giving the definition of two separate words you need to merge. If you have some difficulty figuring the, out the word, I will add four clues to appear. One after another. So get ready for the next two sets of words if you want to snap up a hundred bits. All right. Greek preposition for near. Elves, fairies, and pixies. They live as a group. Yeah. They have wait. Applejack? Paris Sprite? Yup. Yeah. I'm glad I know a muscular organ. Part of a musical instrument. The last name of a mare. She likes Rarity's dre dress designs. She is a unicorn. <laughs> Lyra. Lyra Heartstrix. <laughs> nope. Dang! <laughs> oh, it is. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> 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 and, yeah, I wrote, I had string. But For a second there, I thought I wasn't a brony. <laughs> Fake out. <laughs> Hi, Riders. Bam! Last name, heart strength. Before, just before you, it, it, won't, it won't work. Oh, do I still hit the 500 points? Huh? Well, that means that uh, someone else uh, put the button just before you. Bummer. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, that's the beauty of the system. It's not like raising your hand. Make sure that the one for right. Rainbow Dash is one tough nut to crack. <laughs> 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 Alright, it's time to open your ears and listen carefully because there's going to be a sound playing and you'll have a multiple choice uh, questions about it for 200 apple seeds. <laughs> Could you play it again, please? I'm going to play it again. I still say you're nutty. Okay. 
Who does Rainbow Dash still consider to be the nutty one? One, Discord. Two, Derby. Three, Pinkie Pie. Four, Spike. Pinkie Pie. Wait, no, that's not the end. Okay, what, what, what is, what is, what is, what, um, Discord? What? Nope. Fluttershy. Three, Pinkie Pie. Nope. Oh, what? What? Uh, Spike? Yep. your journey can be, but we would like to remind you, trouble shouldn't be difficult. Let us carry you on our wings, so you don't have to use yours. Next time you need to go the distance, don't panic. Panic! Cool! Huh? I'd use that airline. <laughs> about Rarity's work, so sue me. <laughs> You have to find out if those words can be heard during a conversation in Applejack's farm or between two moments of gossip exchange in Rarity's boutique. You really should have had the pen and paper out beforehand. Yeah, that would have been preferable. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring that necessary to complete that question. So we're gonna skip it and we'll go to the next question. I apologize. Uh, the problem is that uh, the question is already on the paper that's supposed to go. Yeah, it's already printed out, and unless you somehow magically have what we need printed on that piece of paper, you're useless to us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have enough time to uh, see it. I'm sorry about that. So that. No, we're gonna. Uh, don't go to the orange. Alright, no more Apple Orange. Alright. My apologies. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what is the question? can't. It's impossible. Alright. Who doesn't love Derby? Bolchan! <laughs> Chan doesn't like anybody, or anything, or any pony. 4chan likes itself, exactly, yes. I can, name so I, can, I can name several things that 4chan likes, but this is a G-rated panel. So. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. You want to see another video with Derby? Yeah. Well, too bad. Aww. This isn't this isn't really about her. Rather, it's just another multiple choice question with a video to watch and a standard 200 muffins to gain. All right. Mm, muffins. With great power comes great a great picture of you on the walls of your fans. I've got you now. <laughs> Rainbow 
I sure was surprised to discover who was looking for more attention than her. <laughs> who... Let me finish the question first. But I know it. Just, uh, I watched the episode question. today. <laughs> Can you answer it despite the fact that I didn't finish it? Okay. Go uh, ahead. Uh, that's right. Pinkie Pie. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I knew it too, but I was being polite. I don't got time for that, bruh. All right, Miss Mysterious. Mystery! Song! Pinky? Shocker! Spoiler alert. <laughs> Written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> what the twist? Prepare yourself for this from Princess Celestia herself. This time, she won't ask you to save an entire kingdom all by herself. It's gonna be worse than that. She will give you a difficult question without any multiple choice or clues. What's worse than that? All the contestants must give it a try. If you got it right, you got 1,000 bits. Otherwise, you lose nothing. It's a test after all, not a contest. One more thing. You can send anyone to the moon when you can't send anyone to the moon when you do a test given by Celestia. It's not polite. Oh, being polite is so lame. Before delivery exploded, Spike caused some book distortion of his own. It's all well that ends well. He burned one of Twilight Spargo's favorite books about the star, the universe, and everything. Name exactly the title of that book. I got nothing. Yeehaw! Applejack. Let's see. The, um, the astronomical something. Let's see. The uh, astronomical anthology of astronomy or something like that. I'm going to think of this rope. We don't lose any point, but uh, anyone else want to try? It's a daring do, but I can't think of which one. You can do that for this. Oh, yeah. Trixie Stretch. Yeah. If you want to go Trixie Trick right now? Yeah, yeah. Sure you can try Trixie uh, Tricks. Anybody, anybody help me out here? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. You can totally do that. That's one of the rules. Uh, 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 that guy back there, with his hand up right there. Yes, confidence. The astronaut wall, the wall things astronomy. That's all. Huzzah! No. Oh, no. 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 You have failed me. choice question and 200 wubs to gain. On the audience, please don't burst into song or burst into fun. Or burst into flames. Don't burst into flames. Alright, I was following the beat when I got arrested for stalking. <laughs> Mm. 
It's if you know Borny Music by naming the original song by Daniel and Graham that this is remixed from. Music to my ears. Get Twilight Wind the Crown. Celestia Ballad. Or Love is in Bloom. Yay! Goodbye. Oh, wait, that's uh, Fluttershy. Fluttershy. Sorry. Idiot. Or. Love is in Bloom? Mm. Nope. Applejack. Two. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Pinkie Pie. Celestia's Ballad. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can barely go one remix for another. It's time for you. I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be fun? To have a cutie mark for filling in the blanks. Let's try this! There are two quotes from the show with the missing words and you have to fill in the blank. There are no clue for the answer for because if you if code is easy to remember, you still have to work hard to earn the cutie marks and two <coughs> sorry. 300 bits for each. Well done! You are ready another crisis with your amazing diplomatic skill. Thank you, bye. Snips and snails? Oh! Oh, yeah. Sorry. Dirt, major dirt. Rainbow Dash? Yes. Rainbow Dash? Nope. Well done, Damon <laughs> Tiara. You have a little crisis with your amazing diplomatic skills. Oh. The day I get that is the day I turn my Dale Devil design. Nice sense. Okay. The day I get that. Few figure is the day I turn in my Dale Devil Devil. This is an equestrian public service announcement reminding you that safety is not optional. Well, Alright, y'all. Here's the deal. Spike needs to save my life. And you wanna shoot you up with cannon towards a hornet's nest. Feels like a butterfly next week. You catch you a mere second over here at the nest and are stuck by a thousand angry hornets. I'll wear this mustache. <laughs>
choice question for 200 scroll, this time with this. I think I left my keys in the castle. Knowing Twilight, you can be sure she's made a list of everything. I can't imagine how hard it must be for Spike to keep up with such a head. I mean, close friend and mentor. The little dragon have to make a list of the keys givers for the box of the Tree of Harmony. The thing is, he messed it up and have to try several times before he did it right. So, among the list below, which one displays the name of the key givers in the right order? Applejack, is it number one? Yeah! Yep. Yeah! <laughs> so first was Coco Pomez and Spitfire. The third is Chish Sandwich. Fourth is Sea Breeze. Fifth is Silver Chill, and finally Princess Discord. Discord. <laughs> 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 This is my fanfic, and I'm gonna read it! It's funny, because I also have a fanfic. No, anyone have a problem with fanfic? Good, because it's not a real one. A very short story based on a movie or movie series, and you have to figure out what it is. When you know the answer and want to shut me up, just beat the big bit teening anytime. This is worth 100 Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Sorry, I don't know no currency. <laughs> Don't worry, so, the pressure, I don't know. Listen carefully. Bab Seed is found in the Diamond Dawn Marketplace being sold as a slave. Twilight Sparkle and Zakora, after rescuing her, learn that Babs have some special magic in her. Then Babs grow up. As Babs grow up and is under magic training, she falls in love with an alicorn prince from another land. However, this prince was caught in the middle of a war between the Luna Republic and the Celestial Empire. Over the years, Bad was so worried about losing her love that she was influenced to change into a body and use her inner magic to fight her mentor. Twilight Spikle, however, uh, however, Twilight won the battle and Bass was so injured both by the battle and by getting hot half old souls on her. Her injuries were so bad that she is now forced to wear a costume with a black helmet and mask. <laughs> Anybody read that fanfic? Uh, this was the Star Wars prequel. Oh, what? Uh, oh, oh, I, I, I need to read more fanfic about yes. that's a new one for me. So, that was the last question for the You Don't Know Applejack. And the winner is, fittingly, Applejack. Applejack.